and series another video lesson para mas maintindihan ninyo ang mga topics sa mathematics. So our lesson for today is solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Our objective is to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Another method of solving any kind of quadratic equation is by completing the square. This method involves transforming the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0 into the form the quantity x minus h raised to 2 equals to k, where k is greater than 0. So, let's have an example. Solve the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals to 0 by completing the square. So, here's the step 1. Write the equation such that the constant term is on the right side of the equation 2x squared minus 8x minus 10 equals 0 into 2x squared plus 8x equals to 10. So, kailangan yung constant term ay nasa right side. So, kapag nilipat natin yung 10 sa kabila, that becomes positive 10. And step 2 is, if the value of a is not 1, divide both sides of the equation by a. So, since ang value ng a natin dito sa 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is 2, so, we have to divide all terms by 2 so that we can cancel 2. That becomes x squared plus 4x equals to 5. 8x divided by 2 is 4x. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Step 3 is add both sides of the equation the square of half the value of b. So, the value of b natin dito is 4 it's from 4x. So, we have to add 4 divided by 2 raised to 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2 raised to 2. That is 4. So, we had we have to add 4 on both sides of the equation. So, magiging x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 5 plus 4. Nag-add tayo ng 4 sa left and right side ng equation. And that becomes x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 9. Ang step 4 natin ay express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. So, since Yung ating left side ng equation ay perfect square trinomial. Pwede na siyang i-factor out into x plus 2 raised to 2 equals to 9. Step 5. Solve the resulting quadratic equation by extracting the square root. So, from x plus 2 raised to 2 equals to 9, we can get the square root of that. So, that gives us x plus 2 and the square root of 9 is positive and negative 3. Step 6. Solve the resulting linear equation. So, we have x plus 3 equals to positive and negative 3. So, let's solve it by paghiwalayin natin yung positive and negative. So, we have x plus 3 equals to 3 and x plus 2 equals to negative 3. Add negative 2 on both sides of the equation. So, we have x plus 2 minus 2 so that we can cancel the 2 and that gives us x is equals to 1. Yung isa naman is ganun pa rin, subtract natin yung 2. So, magiging x plus 2 minus 2 equals to negative 3 minus 2. Pag kinansel natin yung 2, ang matitira is x equals to negative 5. Last step is to check the solutions obtained against the original equation. The original equation is 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. So, let's check our roots or yung sagot natin. So, from 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0, palitan natin yung x ng 1 and negative 5. So, let's start with 1. Palitan natin yung x ng 1, so that gives us 2 raised to 1, raised to 2, plus 8 times 1, minus 10 equals 0. 1 times 1 is 1, so that gives us 2 plus 8, minus 10 equals 0. 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 minus 10 is 0. So, they are equal. So, try naman na natin ang 5. So, 2 times negative 5 raised to 2, plus 8 minus 5, ah, time, times negative 5 minus 10. So, negative 5 square is... 25, 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. 2 times 25 is 50, minus 40, that's, that is 10, and minus 10 is 0. So, tama pa yung sagot natin. Let's have another example. Find the roots of x squared plus 6x plus 2 equals 0 by completing the square. So, since ang value ng a natin is 1, we don't have to divide all terms by the value of a. So, we can proceed to the next step. Ang next step natin is to make our equation na ang constant term is on the right side of the equation. So, kailangan mag-subtract tayo ng 2 para mawala yung 2 na katabi ng 6x. So, that gives us x squared plus 6x plus 2 equals negative 2. Kasi positive 2, 
minus 2 is 0. Next step is to add the value of b divided by 2 raised to 2 on both sides of the equation. Ang value ng b natin dito ay 6. So, magiging 6 divided by 2 raised to 2. And if we are going to simplify 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And then, 3 square is 9. Now, meron na tayong perfect square trinomial. Yung x squared plus 6x plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. And then, that is equals to negative 2 plus 9. So, we can now get the square root. Ang, or, factor muna muna pala natin. So, kapag finactor natin ang x squared plus 6x plus 9, that gives us x plus 3 raised to 2 equals to 7. Yung 7, nanggaling yan sa negative 2 plus 9. So, kunin na natin yung square root. Pag kinuha natin ang square root niyan, maka-cancel natin yung square and yung square root. And then, that gives us x plus 3 equals to positive and negative square root of 7. So, kailangan na naman natin mag-minus ng 3 para mawala yung katabi ng x na 3. Kailangan x na matitira. So, x is equals to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 7. Or, pwede rin nasagot yung negative 3 plus square root of 7 and negative 3 minus the square root of 7. So, let's have another example. Solve x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So, dahil ang value ng a is 1, hindi na natin kailang i-divide ang terms ng value ng a. So, proceed na tayo sa next step. So, from x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0, kailangan natin mag-subtract ng 6 sa left and right side ng equation para mawala ang 6 at mapunta ang constant term sa right side. So, magiging x squared plus 5x plus 6 minus 6 equals 0 minus 6. So, pwede na natin i-cancel to. Ang matitira is x squared plus 5x equals to 0 minus 6 or negative 6. And then, mag a tayo ng value ng b divided by 2 raised to 2. So, ang value ng b natin is 5. So, magiging 5 divided by 2 raised to 2. Ia-add natin yon sa left and right side ng equation. So, isimplify natin ang 5 over 2. Ang 5 over 2 is the same as 25 over 4. 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 2 is 4. And then, pwede na natin i-factor out ang ating left side ng equation. So, dahil isa na siyang perfect square trinomial. So, ang magiging value niya is x plus 5 over 2 raised to 2 equals to negative 6 plus 5, 25 over 4. Simplify naman natin yung nasa right side ng equation. So, magiging negative 24 plus 25 over 4. Kailangan maging uh, magkapareha silang fraction para maging uh, may subtract natin or may add natin sila. So, ang 6 over 1 plus 25 over 4 is the same as 24 over 4. Next step natin is to simplify ulit natin. So, magiging 1 fourth na lang yon. Negative 24 plus 25 is 1 over 4. Then, kunin natin ang square root. Para, ang matira na lang dyan is x plus 5 over 2 equals to positive negative 1 half. So, dalawang sagot natin. So, isang x plus 5 over 2 equals to positive 1 half and isang x plus 5 over 2 equals to negative 1 half. Isolve muna natin yung nasa left side, yung, isang, yung positive so, magiging x is equals to 1 half minus 5 over 2. Pag minus natin yon, ang matitira is x equals to negative 4 over 2. And then, simplify natin yon, magiging x equals to negative 2. Now, yung right side naman natin, yung negative 1 half. So, magiging x equals to negative 1 half minus 5 over 2. Pag minus natin yon, magiging x equals to negative 6 over 2. Kasi magkapareha silang negative so, pag simplify natin yun, magiging x is equals negative 3. Solve the following quadratic ratio by completed square. So, subukan nyo naman. Meron ditong 5 examples. Try nyo sagutan ulit siya para maging familiar kayo in solving quadratic equations by completed square. Try lang ng try para maging familiar kayo in solving these equations using complete the square. So, para may practice ng practice and mahasa kayo ng mabuti. Okay, that's all. Thank you.